Hey guys, Pixtra here, and welcome to a new video, and in this video I'll be showing you the Final Fantasy XV Platinum demo. Now this demo came out, I've not forgotten when, I think it was last month it came out, and it was announced on a Final Fantasy XV stream where they also announced the anime, which is only up to one episode at the moment, but I can't wait till episode 2 comes out. So I've played about an hour of this game, and I completed the demo once, and it is pretty boring at the beginning, but when you get to the part where you be adult knock this, it is a lot more fun and the combat's what it'll be in 15. So the combat you see when you're young knock this isn't actually what the game's going to be like. So I will be showing you for this. This might be a few parts. I'm not quite sure yet what I'm going to be doing with this. But pretty much you just meet your friend, your imaginary friend called Carbuncle and he just takes you through one of Noctis's dreams. And I will be quiet during the cutscene. Okay, so we are now actually in the game. Looks like I can say this game looks really pretty. Looks very pretty. There's Carbuncle, but we actually want to be collecting these little shards because they'll help us unlock abilities later on. So I'm just going to be collecting all of them because they'll help me unlock abilities and you get new weapons, I believe. Let's collect all of these shards. I'll probably miss some though, but I don't think you have to collect every single shard. I believe you have 300 shards to get the gold plates towards the end when you beat Adult Noctis. So this demo is split into three parts, and pretty much the first part is this foresty area, the second part's a giant dining room, the third part is a like a towny area, and the last one's where you be adult knock this new fight a big iron giant. This cub uncle, he's so cute. I want a pet one. You yeah, unlock bronze plates. So these do random things. I think it's just showing off the engine, and that's the colossal titan. That's the colossal titan's brother. And we need them shards. The shards get me high. I'm getting high off the shards. Um, oh, just slide a bit. Let's line up with the shards. We, I think we placed all of them. There. Yeah, oh, I think we missed one. Nope. Good. So we need to find the exit to Noctis's dream. I think I think this changes the weather. Oh, this makes it so time speeds up, so it's just kind of showing off the day and night cycle. The full game isn't really like this. This demo doesn't really sell people the game. It's more for Final Fantasy fans than anything. I've played Final Fantasy 7 and Final Fantasy 8. And I'm a big fan of Kingdom Hearts, but this game looks interesting. And this demo, I enjoyed it. I didn't like it at first. I didn't like the young Noctis bit, and I still don't. But you get used to it and I just realised that the young Noctis bit isn't even in the full game. This changes the weather. I believe it's going to make it cloudy. I don't want it to rain. Uh, to get all the shards. I 
How do I wake up, Uncle? So this is the combat as young Noctis this is not that good. I've got a sword and a hammer. And sorry if I sound a bit like quieter than usual, it's but I've got a really sore throat at the moment, so still be making videos. Uh, I prefer using a sword. Pretty much as young Noctis, you just have to hold down circle. But when you're older Noctis and you get all the teleporting and stuff, it's really fun. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's a secret area behind here. There was one, but you didn't really, it was kind of a hidden. Um, it's not in there. What are you doing, Carbuncle? It may have been around here. I believe it was up here. Here it is, this part's really pretty. Look at that, it looks so nice. This game is beautiful. And it runs well as well for the graphics. Look how pretty it is. The way it just comes down, it's so nice. And then this is the second part of the dream. But this is the first part of the dream. And we'll skip on to the second part. Jump. Ready, steady, jump. So now we are on the second part of the demo, and it's kind of in some giant dining room. It's, it's very weird. Don't, don't ask me what the developers were on when they made this. Probably the same stuff as the guy who made Kingdom Hearts. But the music in this area is very nice. And I'm in a giant cat food bowl, water bowl. This is when Carbuncle gives us the fireworks. Pretty sure I, got, I don't think I've set them yet. Fireworks. Uh, I got day and night. Silver plates we don't unlock till we have 100, I believe. But I can easily get 100 in there. This one's in a car. And uh, for some reason, we are a car. We're not in the car. We are the car. And um, let's go actually. Don't, we don't want to go up there straight away. Let's go collect the little shards from over here. There's probably some over here. Then we'll look at the ones over there on there. Go away, Carbuncle. This is a cool shot. The cars drive quite nicely. It's not exactly a racing game, but for what they are, they control quite nicely. Um, what's this? That's weather. There's some shards around here. I believe you can get up here. I think I remember getting up here. Nope, maybe you can't. It doesn't look like there's any shards up there. Right, let's go run over to this part. This part just reminds me of Toy Story. As in, like, <laughs> the toys feel like it's huge. What's this plate? I think it's a silver plate. Here it is. There's like enemies over there as well. I don't even have to run, I just hold circle. Oh, there's some shards under here, actually. Oh, there's enemies under here. Collect the shards and kill the enemies. I'll show you guys the hammer. So the hammer does a lot of damage, but it's quite slow attacking. Now we also have fireworks, which are kind of grenades, I guess. Yeah. But I like using the hammer quite a bit. I prefer using the sword as it's faster swinging. One more hit, and he's dead.
Okay. Let's kill these ones over here. These ones are only small though. I killed that one, yeah. I'm gonna switch to the sword for a bit. If I do this, if I do two of them, then they're quite low. Maybe he's in half, I just sword him to death. There we are. So I believe we can go up here. <coughs> Sorry about that. And let's jump knock this. Let's slide down here and then we just climb up again. And we can now use silver plates. I believe they unlock a new type of car, so I'll use them on the way over to the table. There's a big one over here. Ah, we fell off. Um, it's two there. I will try and get him because I don't want to end up getting to the gold plates. And it's like, oh yeah, you're two off. Probably gets 150 in this area. I'm pretty sure it's 300. There we are. And is that all of them up here? I think it is. Okay, I'll show you the silver plate car now. Noctis transformed. This car's a lot faster. And we can drift. Okay. Got that big one. It's probably better if we walk actually this bit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's enemies around here. Yeah. I'll probably just use the hammer now as it's quicker. Teddy's free. Please, there may also be some. Sparks behind them. So the combat for this game is quite boring when you're a child, but when you're older, Noctis is a lot more fun. It's more fast-paced. There's teleporting and stuff. Yeah, what does this do? Yeah. I've got a sword. Let's go change this sword. That looks quite nice. It's a glowing sword. I didn't even know that was there. I believe that's all there is behind here. I should probably make our way up to the table now. Um, there's more sparks. Try get that one. Yeah, oops, I fell off. Luckily, I didn't fall all the way down. Oh, oh, they're all tumbling down. <laughs> That's so good, just a dude, man. We should have quite a few of these sparks on the table. Let's see what this new sword's like then. It's pretty good. It attacks faster than the toy one, I think. Yeah, 
Because there's a lot more damage, I think the other one was only doing like about 7 damage. There we go. Oh, I swear you can knock them over. You can't knock this ball over. You can, good. Does it bounce? Nope. Not a good game. There's a big one here. I'm gonna go there and yet. Over on 200. Yep, so there should be 100 in this other area. And this whole place collapsing. Okay, so we are in the second to last area. And I believe this is actually the final area, but I count the part as I don't knock this as a separate area. So, this is kind of a city area. And this silver pet's here, what does this do? Oh, gift again. We've got another hammer. Let's see what this hammer looks like. Shining hammer. I'll use that when we next find some enemies. Because I want to look for some sparks. And we're now normal sized as well. That's weather, I don't want it to rain, I want it to be sunny. That's a lot better. I have enough of rain in England. <laughs> you enemy? Damn. This hammer's just one shot, people. So I'm going to get to 300 before the end of this. So there should be 100 sparks in this area, it's not that bad. And what's this do? Optician. Oh my god, I'm a pig. I don't know what I am. Oh, I didn't want to turn back. Oh well. That was really so. Was all those things from Star Wars at the Tuscan Raiders Rome. Okay. 30. Oh, another weapon. Raindrops. Mysterious bomb in a bag. Try that suicide. Oh, that's cool. I don't want to mess with the weather. It's a pretty decent spell. You also get sparks from killing enemies, so it's not that bad. And there's ten sparks here. Um, two sparks here. Oh, we don't want to go through there yet. That's where you get to the. We're not unlock gold plates, but that's the final area. Don't we? So we need 50 more sparks. Should be able to find them. Kill this one. Yeah, there's some sparks down here. There's also a thing that changes in some else down here as well. I wonder what it is. And I'm a giraffe and a gazelle mixed with a lion. This, this game's weird. It's weird but it's good. And what's this do? Something, oh, it just some little football. Oh, it's random. Where are the spots? Oh, did I unlock gold plates? It must be 250. So what I get here? Got meteorine. I think that's gonna summon a monster. And what did that random one do? Getting spells. So I can now use gold plates, which is good. 
So I'll go to the part, and this is the part where you beat Adult Noctis, I believe. I will collect this though, just in case. Okay, and also when there's rain in, you can kind of see the reflection of the water coming to character, it's really nice. Okay, and go through here. This is like that Mario 64 staircase. So this is the final area of the game, and I believe this is when you turn to Adult Noctis. So we're in the Citadel. And I believe you fight an Iron Giant or something. Which one down here? Yeah, oh, rip, rip Carbuncle. protect you through your darkest dreams but remember not in the world of your dreams you are king not afraid and now we transformed into the badass and we're gonna fight this now at least it's not like Neo. And we got fire. Yeah, we got. Yeah, we're gonna get wrecked. I don't know how I do the teleporting thing. If triangle to teleport normally, it should tell me. And can we restart? Oh, these do. That right, changes or whatever on the time. So if we don't get attacked while it's grey, it regens it, I think. Oh, I need to speed up time, I believe it speeds up your hidden. Almost killed it. It's fairly easy. It's into a kid again. That was pretty easy. And now we can wake up. It's time to wake up. This game looks really nice. Yes. This game is really good, the ending. It's it sets you up to the main game and you wanna play the main game and also when you complete this you do get loot for the main game. Thanks. See you. I remember your name now. 
So I will just set it as Carbuncle for the ease of the video. Appreciations. We look forward to seeing again you soon. You will be seeing me again soon when the full game comes out. There's a Chocobo. No, I don't want all the Final Fantasy 15. I can purchase the game from a game store because I want a physical copy. I want a limited edition, but that's sold out. So anyway guys, this has been the Final Fantasy XV Platinum demo. It was very good, and I did enjoy it. There's just a few things I didn't like, like when you're a child, but I like the ending bit where you're adult Noctis. So anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment, and if you want to see more Final Fantasy XV, be sure to subscribe. Adios.